everyone, it's Marin. Uh, today I'm going to be reading you a story called Ishii. Now, in the story, Ishii is a little rock who shows us how he deals with his emotions that we all face in life, like turning sadness into happiness. Now, in Japanese, the word Ishii means rock, which is why he's a little rock. But it is also a symbol of kindness, happiness, and mindfulness, which is basically thinking about other people's emotions as well as your own. So I have my own little Ishii here, and I'll show you guys how to make them after we read the story. So uh, yeah, let's jump right in. All right, here we go. Ishii, Simple Tips from a Solid Friend by Akiko Yabuki. So how to use this book. Enjoy the book, choose happiness, share your happiness, pass Ishii to a friend, enjoy their happiness as well. And about this book, stinky days, we all have them. After having one too many, I found Ishii. Ishii became my rock. Ishii gave me tips, simple tips, tips that made me happy. I hope they make you happy too. And there he is, sitting on a little leaf by the pool. My name is Ishii. Ishii means rock in Japanese. His birthday is February 16th, and he was born in Kanagawa, Japan. His zodiac sign is Aquarius. He is 1.77 inches and 4.5 centimeters tall. He is three ounces and 85 grams in weight. And this is his Facebook page and website, which you can actually visit if you want to find out more about Ishii and his story. When something feels impossible, I sleep and rest. And I try again the next day. So there's a puzzle that's got him feeling stressed because he doesn't think he can do it. So he takes a little break and tries again the next day. When I feel bottled up, I move my body. Run, swim, climb a tree. When I feel stinky, I treat myself to something yummy. So there's some gross garbage and something yummy like orange slices. When I feel the pressure, I close my eyes and slowly, deeply, and quietly breathe. When I feel lonely like a leftover, I reach out to my friends. When I feel like a failure, I remind myself that every experience makes me grow. When I feel like I just need a break, I take a break. When I feel like I'm the only one who's different, I remind myself that everyone is different. When I feel stuck, I tell myself to always move forward never backwards. When nothing makes me feel better, I go outside. Nature has magic. When I feel hopeless, I surround myself with dreamers. When I feel sad, thinking about what's missing, I remind myself to focus on what I have and appreciate it. When I feel lost, I lean on my friends. When I 
feel empty. Thank you. When I feel unhappy, I smile. Happiness will follow. Happiness is a choice. Be happy. Happiness is contagious. Pass it on. All right, that was a great story. Now it's time for us to make our own ishi so that we can always remember that we can turn bad situations into more pleasant ones. So what you'll need is some pieces of paper and a pen or a pencil and then if you have some rocks and maybe a paint pen, we will use that later. But if you don't, that's okay. You can just use pens, pencils, and some paper. All right, so first we have to practice the faces that we're gonna put on our rocks. So we're gonna get a piece of paper and a writing material and draw five circles on our paper. Like one, two, And these don't have to be perfect because these are just kind of rough drafts. Four. And for this last one, I'm going to show you how to trace whatever rock you want to use in case you want it to be exactly like the one you have. So just press down your rock and trace around it. Like that. Again, whew, it does not have to be perfect. These are not perfect, but they're good rock shapes. So now we're gonna pick one expression or motion that we wanna draw on each rock or circle. For example, if I want one set of my rock to be happy, I could draw a smiley face. Or if I wanted one of my faces to feel sad, I could draw a frowny face. If I wanted one of my faces to be mad, I could draw this with two eyes, maybe a mad eyebrow and a funny mouth, something like that. Um, if we wanted to draw a funny face, maybe we could do something like cross-eyed, and a silly tongue. And I think for this last one, I'm gonna do a face that can really show a lot of different emotions like lonely or stressed with just two eyes and a mouth like that. So if you ever need to pause this video, you can go ahead and do that whenever. And if you wanna keep practicing and draw more circles and more faces so you have more options to choose from when we do our rocks, feel free to do that. All right, now that we've practiced a few faces, I want you to pick one face that makes you feel good and maybe one that makes you feel a little sad. So I think I'm gonna choose this happy face for my good feeling and maybe this one for my not so good feeling. All right, so like I said, you can keep practicing circles and pause this video if you want to because you can have way more emotions to choose from than just these faces, but I think I'm gonna use these two. And all right, now we're ready to draw our faces on our rocks or paper. So I'm gonna start with rocks. Okay, now we're ready to make our rocks. So first you want to place something down. Paper bags are probably the best because they're thick and you can get them messy and just throw them away. But if you have paper towels, you just have to put quite a few layers because paint pens like these can bleach through that. But if you have a paper bag, that would be perfect. So you also want to wipe off your rocks before you use them in case they have any dirt or any gross stuff on them. We don't want that to be on our rocks. We want them to be nice and clean. So I'm just gonna 
get all the dirt off of this one. And there we go. Now we have a nice clean surface to work with. Um, and now you're going to pick one side. I'm just going to do this side because it's on the top. And you're going to draw one of your faces on it. If you're using a paint pen, you might have to shake it up or press down on your bag to get it to work. You might have to do it a few times, so, um, and that's okay. So mine's all ready to go, so I'm going to draw a happy face on this side of my rock, like this, with one dot. Two dots and a curvy smiley mouth <laughs> and then if you want to go over it again because I know my eyes are not very even but there we go and now you don't want to flip this over too quickly you want to make sure it dries by blowing on it so otherwise you're gonna get everything all messy and well that's okay it's better to be clean with this <laughs> so once this is dry which I think mine is you are going to turn it over and put your second face on the other side so like I said I put this face on this side and I'm gonna put this one on the other side so I'm just gonna do that and do one dot, two dots, and a line mouth. All right, and then we have to blow it on, we have to blow on it again to make sure it's dry. Now our little Ishii is done. And if you have other paint pens, you can also decorate it if you want. Um, but usually this is okay because you have the real meaning of Ishii. But if you have a paint pen like this, different colors, you can always, I don't know, draw a little bow tie or something. Not 100% perfect, but uh, no one's perfect. There we go. All right, now you have your own little Ishii rock. Now I'm going to show you how to do this with paper. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to make your Ishii with a sheet of paper. So first, you're gonna fold your paper in half like this. So hot dog style, you don't wanna do it like this because that's not gonna be big enough. You wanna do it this way. So fold it corner to corner and press corner to corner and press and then crease it like origami. Alright, now that we have our paper with two sides you are going to take your pen or pencil and draw one circle on each side, kind of like we did with our planning. So you're gonna do one big circle on this side and then turn it over and do one big circle on this side as well. And now you can choose whichever one you want to start with. I'll just do this one because I'm already here. And you are going to draw your two faces. So like I said, I did the happy face one first, like on this one. So I'll do it like this. And if you have other coloring materials, you can use those as well. Like if you have markers or something that you want to use for your face, go ahead on paper markers will work. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And on the other side as well. Once again, my eyeballs are not even. 
That's okay. All right. And now I'm gonna draw my smiley. Now you're gonna do the same thing and just turn it over and do your other not so happy face. I believe mine was two eyeballs. With a line for a mouth. So now you also have an Ishii. You have your happy face and your sad one when you flip it over. Alright, now that we have our Ishis made, I want you to take another sheet of paper, whether you did the rock or whether you did it on a piece of paper, and I want you to write or draw three things that make you happy that cannot be bought with money. For example, you can write a hug. Because I love getting hugs from my friends and family. It just makes me feel happy inside. It's something that can't be bought with money. Or you can draw something that you like to do. Maybe singing. You can draw some music notes. I'm also not very good at drawing music notes, but <laughs> again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Then I think I'm also going to draw a heart because I love getting sp to spend time with my friends and family and that's something you can't buy with money and it makes me feel so happy when I get to see them all. Alright, after you have your three things, whether you wrote them or drew them with symbols, I want you to think of maybe two or three places that you'd like to bring your Ishii like maybe to the beach, where you can relax by the sea, the beach. <laughs> or maybe you wanna take your Ishii to school so that it can make you feel happy when you're stressed. Actually, different color. Write or draw down any ideas you might have on what makes you feel happy or what places make you feel happy or even maybe some of your friends that make you feel happy. All right, great job guys. Now you can take your Ishii and they will always remind you that you can turn any bad feelings into a much happier ones. If you wanna keep adding to your paper to find things that make you happy, or if you want to keep practicing your faces, feel free to do that. There's definitely so many ways to deal with big feelings and can't wait to see them all. All right guys, so I just wanted to show you some other Ichi that I made just so you can see some other faces that you can do. You don't even have to do a face, you can write Ichi on it like I did. And I just put a little heart there as well on that rock. So yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I learned a little bit about Japanese culture with the word Ishii and learned a little bit on how you can cope with your emotions and turn sad situations into much more pleasant ones. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.